Time and again, Cyril Smith seems to have escaped the long arm of the law. But his behaviour seems to have been so well known in the police that he even appeared in their training videos. Here he is at Euston Station, testing out the new automated ticket gates in 1989. It wasn't his first appearance on camera there, according to new claims. Police had previously filmed him on the station's platforms, approaching underage boys. So says the man who has done most to unearth Smith's offending. What we've learnt recently is that Cyril Smith appeared in a, a transport police training video that was shown to police officers to learn about how paedophiles effectively uh, groom, groomed boys. He was filmed here in Euston uh, approaching boys and grooming them, uh, trying to appeal to them. And, and, and that's what we now know. This is a training video, what, in the early 1980s? The beginning of the 1980s, it was, uh, this video was being shown to police officers to enable them to understand how paedophiles operated and they used uh, Cyril Smith as a case study in that video. In the case of Smith, there are repeated claims that the Official Secrets Act was used to stop police officers from pressing charges against him, a threat that effectively shut them up. Take Jack Tasker, a former detective in Rochdale whose senior officers told him to leave Smith alone. Now we're telling you now and we're ordering you now you don't do anything further in investigating Cheryl Smith. You don't speak to it about it to anyone. You don't do anything at all. We're taking this investigation over. What was your reaction to that? Well, it was shock. It's never happened before. Following last night's claims on Newsnight, the focus today turned to whistleblowers and how to reassure them that they can come forward to the police or the forthcoming Goddard inquiry without having the book thrown at them. Did you see last night's uh, Newsnight broadcast? But the Home Secretary's attempts at reassurance didn't sound that reassuring. If people are giving evidence of child abuse to the Goddard inquiry or to the police, then I would not expect them to be, I would hope that they would not be prosecuted and would, would, under the Official Secrets Act, would not expect them to be. The immunity you're giving today, if we can say that by your statement, is just if those people give evidence. I'm Possibly to the very people who have told them not to give evidence. Well, uh, Chairman, I, I need to be very clear about this. I have said what I would hope would be the case and would expect to be the case. Lifting the threat of prosecution under the Official Secrets Act may encourage some officers to come forward. But for others, it's going to be much more complicated than that. Some simply won't believe the assurances. Others may fear that it somehow looks like they were complicit in wrongdoing. And after such a long time, the temptation will be to let sleeping dogs lie. It's becoming increasingly clear it will take more than the stories of survivors for the full picture of historic child abuse to emerge. It will require the detectives who were forced to keep quiet to break their silence too. Police! 